Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm going to take you on a full tour of our kitchen. So first I'm going to just take you through the whole kitchen. I'm gonna add a little bit of background music and show you how it looks now. Then I'm going to take you through each quadrant the befores, the afters, just to sum this whole thing up. And then I'll close out the video by doing another walkthrough tour. So we renovated our 1860s farmhouse kitchen over the course of the last two years. We started back in the summer of 2019, so nearly two years ago I was pregnant with Daniel demoing this kitchen. Luke and I pulled down the cabinets, we moved things around, we got the sink out of here and just got it more to a blank slate for renovation. 
We completed our farmhouse kitchen renovation in four stages. And recently I wrapped up the whole renovation playlist with a Q&A. And I had a few people suggest that I should take you on a full tour of the kitchen because I shared each quadrant as we renovated it, completed it, the full story of it. But now that it's all done, I've never taken you through the whole thing because sometimes I think it's really difficult on the internet to understand the layout of something, to see where one thing is in relation to another. Now, if you watch my channel a lot, you've probably sort of gathered where everything is, but I'm gonna do my best to piece it all together into one video. So the first part that we actually completed was the Eden kitchen, which is where I am sitting right now. When you walk through the French doors from the rest of the house into the kitchen, to the right is an area that we deemed the Eden kitchen area. Actually, the previous owners pretty much did that because there was a table here. So it was probably what people have always used this section of the kitchen for. And the way that we needed to make it more functioning was by adding a larger table to seat our entire family. So we have six kids and we do have a formal dining room over across three rooms. Uh, an entry, another little landing area, and then the dining room. And so it's really just too far away to use on a daily basis. We could do it, but we'd rather use this space for that. So to complete this room, the things that we did were find this table. So I found this table at an antique shop. It was the perfect size. If anything, it's probably a little too long but we need it that size. It's just a little cramped, but still without it, we wouldn't be able to all fit. We added a bench for three kids to sit on. We painted the trim around the window. Now I had a few people upset when we first did this reveal that we painted the trim, but it actually was already all painted. It was painted brown, so it gave the illusion that it was wood, but it was not. And if it had been wood, I would have left all of the trim and this whole house wood, but there was absolutely no way I was going to strip it all down. So white we went. We painted the walls white dove. I found a rug over on Turkish Rug Source on Etsy. We hung a plate wall and a peg rack and just made it a cozy, comfortable area. Now, as you can guess, the reason that we finished this quadrant first was because it was the easiest. All I had to do was collect some things and put it over here. The rest of the kitchen required demo, thought, building, plumbing, electric, all of it. And so this was an easy place to start. The next quadrant we worked on and revealed was the main kitchen area. So the area that has the 1949 caloric stove, the farmhouse sink that I found at a vintage shop, the cabinets, the refrigerator. Again, if you are unfamiliar with our kitchen story, go ahead and visit the Victorian Farmhouse Kitchen playlist because I have the entire process. I have us demoing, I have us revealing each part of it, all of the sources, where we found things, paint colors. If you're interested in something specifically, you can visit the reveal for that video and find out. And then also my, my last video, the Q&A, I probably answer most of your questions that you might have. The third phase we did of this kitchen renovation was the office. Now we needed an in-kitchen office because Luke and I do run our own home-based business. That's how we are able to afford to live here and raise our family. We do my blog and YouTube full-time as our business. And so there is camera gear associated with that. There's printer paper and printers and computers and all kinds of stuff. I have props for all of my food photography. And we needed a place to house all of that that would be easily accessible. And we don't have extra bedroom space. We have just enough bedrooms for us we could even stand to have a few more bedrooms. And so this little nook in the kitchen, there was nothing here. It was just basically a cutout area, which we think that at some point, this opening from where I'm sitting, the Eden kitchen area and the office to the main part of the kitchen was actually closed off and opened up at some point. And so this nook here wouldn't have always been here. This would have been a separate room. 
Now, I'm not exactly sure why this would have been a separate room, but it was. And so this nook was just a byproduct of that renovation that was done at some point. And so when I saw it, I knew that we needed to utilize it with floor to ceiling cabinetry to make a functioning little office. And also I really looked forward to the view of these nice built-in cabinets that would span the entire floor to ceiling, wall to wall, and not just be like this little carved out nook area. For more details on how it looks behind the cabinet doors and the drawers and its organization and all of that, do check out the playlist again for when I reveal the office. The fourth phase of the kitchen renovation was the pantry, which I just revealed a few weeks ago. We did so much work in there. We tore it completely apart, added new cabinetry, countertops, shelves, decor, and made it functioning and beautiful. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse of our kitchen and how it all came together in the four quadrant renovation process over the last two years and getting a little summary of all of the before and after and the work that we put in and where we started. It feels like a quick process now that I look back on it, but it definitely was not while we were going through it. My goal for this kitchen, and hopefully I achieved it, I feel like I did, was a cozy country kitchen where a lot of cooking and gathering could happen. So I wanted this to be a place where little jars of jam and sauerkraut and a bubbling glass jar of sourdough all look welcome hanging out on the counter and not out of place. Where there's some leftover food sitting out on the counter and a wildflower bouquet on the table. I wanted it to feel very inviting and charming and not too perfect. Where there could be messes and life happening and it just have that country feel with an apron on the wall, baskets on the antique hutch, and cutting boards sitting out. Hopefully you understand the vibe that I really had in my head that I wanted to go for in here, and I hope that I achieved it. I feel like even if it's not 100% there now, those are things that I can add with the casual country base that I've created here in this kitchen. I hope that you found some inspiration and if you are going through a renovation, just know that it is a process. Nothing really great happens very quickly. If you want character, if you want it to have a collected feel, it is going to happen over time. So there's your encouragement. It took us 10 years to finish our last house. We sold it and we moved here. So we're two years in on a farmhouse renovation slash restoration journey and that is so small and so we have a whole lot more to do and we're happy to take you along so if you are brand new to my channel please hit that subscribe button i make two new videos every week on food from scratch natural living in a handmade home and i also take you along on our farmhouse restoration journey and creating a homestead thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse